I am Adil Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss about the section formula. Point C divides straight line joining points A x1 y1 and B x2 y2 in the ratio of m is to n. Find the coordinates of point C. So uh, let us sketch the scenario and then we'll work out a formula. It is based on similar triangles concept. So we are given two points. Let us assume these two points to be as shown here, A and B. Um, so the coordinates of A, let's say they are x1 and y1. The coordinates of B are x2, y2. So these are the coordinates of A and B. What we're given here is a point C. We'll assume for present point C being in between A and B. We call this as internal division, right? Let's say this is point C for us. And we'll assume this point at X and Y. Okay, so this is the point C, which divides the given segment in some ratio. The ratio is given to us as m is to n. So this side will say this side is m for us and that side is n. So total length a to b is m plus n. Is that clear to you, right? So, so that is how we'll depict the scenario. Now in this particular case you can see that if I form a triangle by drawing a line parallel to x-axis from A and C, as you have seen here, we do form two triangles and these triangles can be represented as, uh, let's say we call them as D and E, right? Let's call this point as D and this point as E, right? Now, in that case, you will see that the triangle ADC is similar to triangle CEP. Right? This you get from AA property. Since uh, we have right angles here, parallel lines, so corresponding angles are equal, right? So these two are similar triangles. Since they are similar triangles, we can write down that the ratios are constant, right? So we have AD over AC equals to CE over CB. Now, AD over AC is basically difference of X and X1, right? So this distance, AD, is distance between X and X1. So I write AD as X minus X1. Right? So we get X minus X1 over A to C is M equals to CE, C2 is X2 minus X over N, correct? Now we can cross multiply and isolate X. So if I cross multiply, I get N times X minus X1 equals to M times X2 minus X. Now bringing X terms together, we get I'm taking mx, so let's expand this once again, mx2 minus mx, bringing it to the right side, I get mx plus nx equals to mx2 minus 
nx. So this minus becomes plus nx1. Okay. Taking x common, we get m plus n equals to m x2 plus n x1. And from here we can get x equals to m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n. So the value of x which we get is basically this ratio times the x value of the other point far end, right, plus n x1, right. So we get the value of x. Now to find the value of y, we know that the third side is also in the same ratio, right. So we'll again do the same thing. This time we'll take the ratio of the side vertical side CD over AC is equal to BE over CB right now CD is Y minus Y1 A to C is M B to E is Y2 minus Y over n cross multiply y minus y1 equals to m times y2 minus y bring the y's together we get n y and here bring in it this side just m y equals to m y2 plus n y1 correct take y common we get n plus m equals to m y2 plus n y1 or the value of y is equal to m y2 plus n y1 over n plus m or we can write this as m plus n. Is it clear to you? So we get our formula. Now this is kind of important to understand that if we are having an internal division, so this is uh, when we are having internal division, right? So so when we have internal division, in that case, the coordinates of point C are, let's rewrite this, m x2 plus n x1 over m plus n, which is the total length, and the y coordinate is m y2 plus m y1 over m plus n. Right. However, if we have the case of external division, so we'll just extend this. If we have the case of external division, that is to, case, that is to say that we have a situation where the line A to B is this, right? However, the point C lies on the side, not in between, but away from it. Right? So we have the situation where this is A, that is B and C. So that is external division. So in that case, the ratio M is to N, when we talk about, in that case, M is this, right? And N is from C to B. Now that is N. So that becomes negative. Do you see that? That becomes negative. So in that case, the formula will change a bit and we'll have a negative sign in between, right? So that is the only difference which we are going to get. Plus, uh, both the signs, n will be negative, right? So now in this case, you can see the value of n is negative. So if I replace n with a negative sign, then I'll get my formula for external division, right? So we'll, let's write down. For external division, the point C will be m x2 minus n x1 over m minus n, and the y value will be m y2 minus n y1 over m minus n, correct? So for external division, the formula changes a bit. 
n will be negative and if you replace n negative in your equation you get your formula correct to derive this you can follow the same steps and get your answer so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and i'm going to take up many examples based on this formula that will help you to understand all these situations better thanks for your time and all the best